Welcome to our deep dive into Python's print function. Today, we're going to cover nine helpful tricks every Python programmer needs to know about printing. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refine your skills, these tips will help you master the art of displaying information in Python. Let's get started. Number one, let's start with a recap of the basic print function. All right, let's break down this code. The first print function prints hello world to the screen. The second print function prints Python is awesome with spaces between each word do the comma. And the third combines the variables hello and awesome with the string is to print Python is awesome, demonstrating how to concatenate strings in Python. Number two, usage of the end and set parameter inside the print function. We can use the end parameter with, for example, a comma to control what comes after the print. Here, we combine these to print statements to be printed as one combined with a comma. Or we can use the set parameter to place a hyphen between each argument in this print statement. The result is a combined hello comma world and a one, two, three. Number three, how to use line break, tab, and escaped quotes inside the print function. We can add a line break by using the backslash n inside the print statement, or use the backslash t to add a tabulator between the expressions. If you want to use a quote inside a string that uses quotes, you can use the backslash quote to create it escaped quotes. If we print all this to the console, we see now a line break in the first, a tab in the second, and quotes in the third print statement. Number four, f string and the format function for formatting the shown output. Let's start with the basic f string inside print. You can use this to combine variables and strings inside a string to create a dynamic string. Just add an f in front of the string quotes. Here, we can combine the variable name with the string scored and the variable score with the string points. We can also do some operations using the f string inside the print function. Here, we multiply the two variables x and y inside the curly brackets to get the result outputted. Or we can use the format function of a string to separate the variables out of the string. The first parameter here represents the first curly brackets in the string. I think you got this. I never use this, but maybe you find a use case for this. In the console, we see then the dynamic prints. Number five, a way how to use Unicode inside your print function to show symbols and emojis. This is a fast one. You want to use a Unicode inside your print? Just add backslash and the Unicode code point of the item you want to show. Here are two examples. Just use the U03A9 Unicode code point to show an omega symbol or the U001F600 to show a smiling emoji. In the console, we now see the symbol and not the Unicode. Perfect. Thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, don't forget to follow for more content like this. Number six, send the input of the print statement directly to a file using the file parameter. This code demonstrates how to do this. We open output.txt as f for file in write mode. In the print statement, we use the file parameter to send this string. This will be written to a file directly into that file instead of displaying it on the screen. When we execute the code, we see no output in the console, but the line added in the output.txt. Number seven, use and print the output of a function inside the print function. Want to display the result of a function? No problem, you can call any function directly inside the print function to show its output. For example, if you want to print the length of the word Python, you can use the len function inside print. The code first prints the text length of Python, followed by the result of len function, which counts the number of characters in the word Python. The full output is then length of Python, double point six. Number eight, use the flush parameter combined with the end to get an instant output printed to the console. Normally, if we use the end parameter in the print function, it buffers its output and shows it in one batch, but with flush parameter, you can display it immediately. In this example, for i in range to five, prints numbers zero to four with a space between them, using print for i with the end parameter to add a space and flush parameter equals true to get a live update for every iteration in the console. We also use time.sleep to add a one second delay between prints, creating a real time countdown effect. As you can now see in the console, it takes now five seconds to count from one to five. And last but not least, number nine, the reaper function. You can use the reaper function to print the detailed representation of an object. 
If you need an unambiguous and precise format, use REPR in the print function. For example, the REPR function to the list 1, 2, 3 in a print function shows the raw format of the list 1, 2, 3, which is useful for debugging, development, and understanding the object's internal structure. Thanks for watching. If you found these print function tips helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me for more programming insights and tutorials. Got any questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.